so glad you're here. Are you ready to sing our hello song together? I hope so. I need you to stand up. If you're in a place where you can stand up so you can clap and you can stomp and you can jump and you can dance and say hello with me. Are you ready to get started? Here we go. Oh, 
couples. I loved all those animal sounds. But do you know what? I think there was at least one other animal at the barnyard gate. <coughs> no, I wasn't going to say a cow, but <gasps> I know that there was a dog at the barnyard gate, and that dog was you, Mr. Ruffles. You're right. I am right about that. And you know what else? What? We have a story to read today to our friends about a dog who had a very colorful day. Ooh, I think I know this one. And here's our book for today. Ooh, that's a good book. It is a good book. It's called Dog's Colorful Day, A Messy Story About Colors and Counting by Emma Dodd with permission to read the story from Puffin Books. Would you like to listen? Yes, I would. I love books. Oh, good. So do our friends. All right. Here we go. Dog's Colorful Day. This is Dog. As you can see, Dog is white with one black spot on his left ear. At breakfast time, Dog sits under the table as usual. Splat! A drip of red jam lands on his back, and now Dog has two spots. Ooh, that's what it was. After breakfast, Dog runs outside, and he slips past the man painting the front door. Splish! His tail dips into the blue paint, and now Dog has three spots. Oh. Dog runs to the park and rolls on the grass. Squash! The grass makes a green stain on his white coat. And now Dog has how many? Four. Four spots. <laughs> Dog follows a little boy eating chocolate. Squish! The boy gives Dog a chocolatey pat, but no chocolate. And now Dog has five spots. So here come our spots. Can we count to five together? Yes. Okay, here we go. One, four. two, three, four, five. A bee buzzes up to see what's going on. And swish. The bee drops yellow pollen as it flies by. And now Dog has six spots. Dog trots on through the park. Splash. A drop of pink ice cream lands on his right ear. And now Dog has seven spots. That's a lot. Time to go home. The dog runs up the street. Splash. A bouncing ball splatters Dog with gray mud. And now Dog has eight spots. <laughs> In front of the gate, Dog steps on a carton of orange juice. Splurt! A patch of orange appears on his leg. And now Dog has nine spots. That's right. That's a lot of spots for one dog. The dog races back inside the house and knocks right into Vicky. Silly dog. Vicky's purple marker leaves a smudge on Dog's head. And now Dog has Ten spots. That's a lot of spots. It's a silly a lot. <laughs> silly a lot. You're a silly dog. I'm a fancy dog. Vicky looks down at Dog and she counts his colorful spots. You ready to count all those? Yes. Here we go. One, yeah. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten. That's a spot to do a very good. And 
Vicky looks more closely, and Dog has a red spot of jam, a blue blob of paint, a green stain of grass, a yellow patch of pollen, a brown smear of chocolate, a pink drop of ice cream, an orange splash of juice, a purple smudge of ink, a gray splatter of mud, and of course, a black spot on his left ear. And you know what I've noticed about you, Mr. Ruffles? Look, I've noticed you have a black spot. Right there. I forgot about it. A black nose. I have a spot. You need a bath, dog. Look at the dog splashing in the water, getting rid of all those spots. And when dog climbs into bed, he has just one black spot on his left ear. Good night, dog. What a colorful day you had. That was a lot of colors. You know what? I, I'm thinking of something else that's also very colorful. Can you guess? Is it the air? No. Is it uh, light? No. Your shirt. My shirt. Well, it is very colorful, but I was thinking of one other thing. Mr. Ruffles, do you remember that day last week when it was raining so hard? Our sure do. And we were sitting outside together watching it rain and then the sun came out and it was shining so bright and we looked up in the sky and what did we see? A rainbow. A big beautiful rainbow with all the colors and we remembered our favorite rainbow song and we sang it together. Let's sing it. You want to sing it now for the boys and girls? Yes, let's sing it. I think they'd like that. Would you like to sing with us? It's our favorite rainbow song. Here we go. Red and yellow and pink and green. Purple and orange and blue. I can sing a rainbow, sing a rainbow, sing a rainbow too. And sing everything you see. You could sing a rainbow, sing a rainbow, sing along with me. Red and yellow and pink and green, purple and orange and blue. We can sing a rainbow. For that idea, Mr. Ruffles. I hope you all like it. I think they did. And now it's time to say goodbye to our friends today. It's story time. <laughs> well, that's okay, Mr. Ruffles. We get to sing our favorite goodbye song with them. You're right, and I can always see them later. That's right. You're always welcome to come back and visit us at story time anytime you want. I'm sure our friends will be very glad to see you. Yay! Here we go.